Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. It's been said that the distance between insanity and genius can be measured only by success. Well, that's all well and good, but thankfully, the distance between most other things can be measured in many more ways. And we know because we carry a lot of those, and this week we're adding to that collection. We've got two new direct time of flight sensors, each available on two different board options. Let me introduce to you the new SparkFun Quick DTOF imagers and the new SparkFun Quick Mini DTOF imagers. As I said, we've got two new sensors, and they are the TMF-8820 and the TMF-8821, both from AMS. Now, these sensors share very similar specs. They are direct time of flight, or DTOF sensors, that include a single modular package with associated vertical cavity surface emitter laser, or VEXEL. The DTOF devices are based on a single photon avalanche photodiode, or SPAD, time to digital converter, or TDC, and histogram technology. They have an operating voltage of between 2.7 and 3.6 volts and an I.O. voltage range from 1.62 to 3.3 volts, with both of those typically being 3.3 volts via the Quick Connector's I2C power line. Their current consumption when active is 57 milliamps and a scant 8 microamps in standby. Now, they've each got a field of view of up to 63 degrees and a measurement range of 10 millimeters to 5,000 millimeters. Now, that's about half an inch to 16 feet for those of you who don't want to do the math. They've got a maximum possible read rate of 30 Hz and an operating temperature range from negative 30 Celsius to 70 Celsius or negative 22 Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit. Now the difference between the two and what makes them more than simple proximity sensors is the fact that they offer multi-zone distance measurement capability. The TMF-8820 offers a 3x3 grid array for nine separate measurement zones. And the TMF-8821 holds a 4x4 grid array for a 16-zone measurement field. However, with the 8821, you can code it to return 3x3, 4x4, or even 3x6 array data. And each of these sensors is available on two different boards. You can get them on our standard 1 inch by 1 inch board with a quick connector on either side, three mounting holes, and the pins broken out in case you want to add headers and do some breadboard work. Your other option is to go with the mini version. Now, this has a 1 inch by half inch footprint, two mounting holes, pins broken out at the standard 0.1 inch spacing, but this little board has the sensor on the opposite side as the quick connectors, making it super simple to flush mount this into your project enclosure. So what can one do with a grid array direct time of flight sensor? Oh, so many things. I'm sure the first thing that comes to mind for most of us, of course, is multi-zone autofocus for your DIY camera project. Yes? Anyone? All right, so what about object detection, collision avoidance, and real-time optimum route planning for your robot or autonomous vehicle? There's also presence detection, not only the detection of a presence, but being able to detect what direction that presence is moving. What about gesture sensing and gesture recognition on all three axes? 3D room mapping? And industrial applications too. The first thing that comes to mind for me with this absolutely is load distribution monitoring for ships or trucks. If you've ever driven through the mountain passes here in Colorado and seen a semi lying on its side, then you know the importance of an equal load distribution. It can be, even be used for inventory awareness uh, over multiple zones on a shelf or floor, knowing when you get down to that last row of boxes. Of course, as you've always been great at pointing out, for every 10 ideas that we can come up with for new projects, you will come up with 100, and we always love to see all of them. So whether you need the quick DTOF imager with the TMF-8820, the quick mini DTOF imager with the TMF-8820, the quick DTOF imager with the TMF-8821 or the quick mini DTOF imager with the TMF-8821. You can get them all over at sparkfun.com. And as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. But this part I should be okay in like six or seven takes <laughs> of an even load distribution. Maybe, oh, it was going pretty well there. And the new SparkFun Quick DTOF Mini, oh, Mini DTOF Imagers. Let me introduce to you the new SparkFun Quick DTOF, let it roll, SparkFun Quick DTOF Imagers with the TMF-8821 or the Quick, that was so close. <laughs>